Hello again, and welcome back, and thanks again for watching. Manson used to have all kinds of different sayings. One of the sayings he used to use was, If you look down on me, you'll see the devil. If you look up at me, you'll see God. And if you look at me straight on, right in my eyes, you'll see yourself. I tend to think sometimes some of these people, the authors might look up at him or down at him. I think I was probably the only one out of very few that looked him straight in the eyes like a human being. So I guess when Charlie would answer my questions, he would probably be answering from more of a straight-on kind of view, looking you right dead in the eyes. And here's his response about, or one of them, he had plenty of them over the years, but here's one of his responses about the ranch, and Leslie Van Houten, and a few other things. So let's read what his thoughts are and see maybe if you come to a different conclusion, or the same conclusion, or maybe you look up to him. Who knows? Let's read this. Let's look and see what Manson's thoughts were. The ranch was a place where everything no one else wanted made its way to the Manson table for food and a place to lay down and be safe. Hobos, outlaws, escape kids, hippies, beatniks, all the dogs no one wanted kicked out of the car on the old stagecoach road. People going to do some time would bring livestock, birds, chickens, cows, donkeys. No one was ever turned away. It was not that Manson was a kind, good person. It was because Manson had just got out of 22 years in cages, boys' homes, and was completely unwanted, and didn't know what was going on for real. He'd never been out of prison but a few weeks at a time, didn't realize. Drifters and all the kinds of kids who were being kicked out of their own homes. Leslie Van Houten was one. I, Manson, swear this is true. I never said 50 words to that woman. She was dumped on the ranch. She had nothing. I truly mean nothing. I never had no followers. I wasn't going anywhere to be followed. I had less than Lulu. Airhead chick in fear of everything. I just tried to stay away from her. She ran with mostly girls. I treated her like I did myself and everyone else. I never told that girl to do nothing. I never laid on with her. There were lots of girls running loose in them days. I was not running after anyone. In court, the lawyer told me if I say I'm guilty because I'm crazy, he could get me out in 18 months to two years tops. I looked at the three girls and thought they would fall apart and get eaten up and die. I held them together and helped the whole bunch of people. There were people together. They were not together like the DA and media said. There was no members. Everyone was free, and I mean it. Leader is someone who shows you and serves you. Words can say anything. It's in the motions and moves, dance, music, flowers, trees, I'm into. Wildlife, birds, I'm not a people person. Insanity, despise, lies, and people that lie. Lulu never lied at the ranch because she feared me. I shine on all that. Means I pay for it, no attention. I helped her, I held her up mentally. She was perfect when she was around me. My big mistake is I had been through all the fear in prisons, so they were nothing to me. I didn't realize, however, that I was going to be called on, like it or not, to be a leader of a cult. 
and given a family. I was just a ranch hand and not a good one at that. Here's what happened to Lulu. Miss Prissy, homecoming queen, went to prison where there was big blacks and half black girls who fight like men and play basketball and step on cats and kick dogs in the ass. Mean. Well, if you listen to Manson there, sounds like Charles Manson knew me better than he did Leslie Van Houten. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you liked it. And as always, peace and love. See you again. Soon.